I had a feeling that we would just be spending all this time looking at multiple Dragon Maiden deck list, but uh, here we are yet again with another edition of OCG Thursday for everybody. So what is up, guys? M. Cool 40 here. I hope that you're all doing well today. And remember, it's a happy day in the Maidhood because all these cute little adorable Dragon Maids are really servicing you and also being really happy, fluffy. I want to I wish they'd make a plush of these just so I could like have a giant one to like cuddle with because they look so adorable. Look look how nice and fluffy they are. Okay. So, I got my degeneracy out of the way. So we're basically able to uh this this is interesting. And I don't know if this is going to be like a prereq going forward uh for this, but it definitely catches my attention here that uh World Legacy Jugar Dragon and Justicar in this deck seem like they could be some really spicy tech choices going forward because, I mean, World Legacy Guard Dragon kind of fixes a lot of the things that this deck has. I mean, obviously, like, Alpi and Pisty here, these guys do a lot and bring the Pain Dragon, just got natural synergy with this, but I don't know, what, what more can we really expect out of this? So, new Dragon Maids showing up to wreck your Japanese metagame report. So, we have two copies of Ash Blossom in Joyous Spring. We have triple copies of Erde. So, once again, quick effect, you can discard this card. Special summon one level four or lower Dragon Maid from your hand, which is just from the graveyard. Or standard typical claws, bounce this back to your hand. And special summon one level two Dragon Maid. So, I uh, wish they all had the same level, but, you know, we, we, we can't get nice things. Of course, we have two copies of Flamme. Standard quick effect discard this card, give a Dragon Maid 2k, so you get to make these things fat, and that's actually pretty important to uh, these battle clauses. Uh, the one copy of Dragon Maid Fluss, you can discard this card, target one monster in either graveyard, and shuffle it into the deck, so standard hand trap-esque effect to disrupt from the graveyard, which is pretty good. Uh, the two copies of Laundry, this is our level 2, uh, on normal or special summon, look at the top three cards of your deck. And then at the start of the battle phase, uh, bounce this back to your hand. So you got dumping, and you've got tag out ability. Uh, trip, or two copies of Luft. So Luft, discard this card, target a face-up monster on the field. A target's effects on, that activate on the field cannot be used. So you basically get to negate something. This one's not bad. And then we have the two copies of Nostri on normal or special. Send a level 4 lower Dragon Maid monster. Uh, in your graveyard, except for herself and special summon it. So, we have revivability. Uh, Parla, send one from the deck to the graveyard. This thing is good. And then the Tilrus, which let you search. I think these are the best two that the deck has. And of course, we have the triple maxi. So, also we have the triple called by the grave. Alright, Dragon Maid changing. So, we can fusion summon one Dragon Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field this material. This card is in your graveyard, and target one Dragon Maid monster you control. Add this card to your hand if you do return that monster to the hand. So, this grants us basically the fusion summon option, which we need. Uh, the triple copy is the Dragon Maid Hospitality, which lets us special summon from the hand or graveyard, but in defense mode. And then you get to send uh, one to the graveyard with uh, the same attribute but a different level, so you get to send their bigger forms. We have the triple Dragon Maid Reception. Monsters you control will gain 100 attack for each Dragon Maid monster you control. If two or more Dragon Maid monsters um, you control, uh, you can target one Dragon Maid in your graveyard, except for Reception added to your hand. So we have float ability, so that's good. We have the one Feather Duster, the one Monster Reborn, a triple World Legacy Guard Dragon, and two copies of Relaxation. So you can target a Dragon Maid monster you control and activate one of these effects. So you can return that target to your hand, and you do get to add a Dragon Maid card from your deck to your hand, so you can actually search for these, which is so good. And then, of course, you can return it to your hand. If you do, you get to return one small trap card your opponent controls to the hand. So, while this is a continuous, you do get bounce ability, which is really important. Now, extra deck, we have one Triple Burst Dragon, one copy of the Rocket Link, or Striker Dragon. We have one Al Mirage, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Heavenly Spheres, one Pisty, one LP, one Bring the Pain Dragon, one Boral Sword, one Apostla, the one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, and the two copies of Hosky. So, once per turn during your standby phase, you can target one other Dragon Maid monster you control. Special them in defense position, one Dragon Maid monster from your hand, or a graveyard whose level is one higher or lower than that monster. When another face-up Dragon monster monster you control is returned to your hand, you can target one monster your opponent controls, 
and destroy it. So remember, these guys bounce on battle phase, so disruptability. In the side deck here, we have two Prankatops, two Gamma Seal, one Starving Venom, two Super Poly, one Twin Twister, triple Imperm, two Judgment, and two copies of Unending Nightmare. Wrapping up this list. Particularly interesting, actually. I, I don't know, I, I want to like go more in-depth with this deck. I think it's really adorable. Next up, we have more Marincess combos, actually. It's really cool to see that this deck is performing relatively well in the OCG, and uh, the fact that, you know, we'll get to play this soon enough here. So, this is some Marincess stun. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, triple copies of Thick Veiler, triple copies of Phantasmi Boy, two Ghost Ogre, triple copies of the Blue Tang, we have one Mandarin, triple copies of the Marincess Seahorse, Triple copies of Maxi, wrapping up our monsters here. Spells, triple sign at mining. One Feather Duster, one copy of the Battle Ocean. Triple copies of Pot of Desires, because we need to draw those key combo pieces. And we have two goes in match, two infinite impermanents, triple copies of Marincess Waves, two Dynamiscus, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Did somebody order Disruptability? Down here in the extract, we have one Shooting Code Talker. Soon we'll get this, I hope. One Abermax. One copy of Wonder Heart, probably the biggest um, thing that we're missing, besides, you know, the field spell and the other good monsters. But, you know, we're, we're getting there. That's, that's okay. I honestly do like to say that, like, looking at lists like this from the OCG kind of gives you an idea of things that you should probably be looking for in terms of things to pick up. And I think that's a good thing. At least you can say you're educated, right? We have the one copy of the Marin's SC Angel. And then we have two copies of Marbled Rock, one copy of Crystal Heart, triple copies of the Coral Atomone, triple copies of Blue Slugu, one Unicorn, and the one copy of the Phoenix. Side deck here, only one Lancia, by the way. One Prankatops, triple Gamma, one Driver Boy, two Anti-Spell Fragrance, one Goza Match, two Heavy Storm Duster, one Imperial Order, two Typhoon, and one Vanity's Emptiness. Wrapping up some love for Marincess. There's just something about this list. Like, I, I know Blue Angel plays it, and I know that people were like, oh my god, Trick Stars. But, like, it's really cool to see that they diversified a little bit for her. And it gave her more love. You know what I mean? And then the last list we have here, we're going to call this something, 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 what? Something, something, something. Because literally, that's what this deck is. This is a hodgepodge of craziness. And uh, <laughs> the random treeborn frog. I don't know why there's a Yomigaru in here. I'll just be straight honest with you guys, but it's here. All right. And we accept that. So, <laughs> oh man, this is adorable. Like, kudos to whoever made this. You're my hero. So, we have one copy of Armageddon Knight, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, two Didi Crow, two copies of Prankatops. Triple copies of Fairy Tail Luna to search for snow, but of course we should be able to search for the best disruptor that they have. Two copies of Phantasmi, two copies of Ghost Ogre, one copy of Jismek. We have triple Assault Halberd. Um, honestly, being able to do this plus another level four step into Utopia for free damage is pretty cute. And then of course we have the triple Jurigato. <laughs> uh, more free extenders. We also have triple Max C, one copy of the Dark Worm. One copy of Treeborn Frog, triple copies of Watt Cobra, and triple copies of Watt Giraffe, along with one Double or Nothing, one Foolish Burrow, one Heavy Storm Duster, one Evenly Matched, two copies of the Soothing Barrel, send one monster from your deck to the graveyard, but for the rest of this turn you cannot activate cards or the effects with that same name as what was sent to the graveyard. Huh. We're going to revive that Jismac on the next turn. And of course we have two There Can Only Be One and one copy of Vanity's Emptiness. Next check down here, we have one Anima, one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP Mascarina, one Soldier of Chaos, one Tornado Dragon, one Utopia of the Lightning, one Baguski, one Utopia Double, one Utopia, the one Selenon Arc, one Exiton, one Castell, and one Abyss Dweller. Side deck, one Didi Crow, one Phantasmi Boy, one Gamma Seal, one Ghost Ogre, triple copies of Retaliating Sea, one Sphere Mode, Two Shared Ride, two copies of Heavy Storm Duster, one Imperm, one Solemn Morning, and one Ending Nightmare. Wrapping up, the, man, the, o, the OCG is, uh, whew, I don't know, there's something about looking at these deck profiles, I'm just like, 
Why? Why though? Like these are all local shop events, and it's it's always interesting to see these things. But what do you guys think about these lists? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. The ride never oh well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol Forty for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.